Coming to you from Asheville East KOA in Swannanoa River, North Carolina, just outside of Asheville. Please enjoy a quick ride through the campground as we stayed here for about three nights and thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy this video. And now's a good time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future videos that we do. Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Oh, and hey, remember, at the end, well not actually at the end, but towards the middle of this video, I've got a couple of storage tips. When you put your camper in storage, some tips and tricks of what you need to do to keep your camper clean and fresh. Enjoy the video.
Well, this was the end of another great camping trip at another KOA campground. But hey, don't go anywhere, because I've got some great tips coming up for you on things that you ought to do when you have to put your camper in storage. Stick around. Well, if you have to get a part for your awning, then you have to open your awning to be able to get the little model number tag that's on the inside of the channel. Unfortunately, I've already taken the battery out of my RV. You can see it there behind me. So I'm going to have to install the battery, but unfortunately, it's starting to rain. So, wish me luck. Maybe I can do this before I get soaking wet out here. I don't have to permanently mount it as long as I get the wires connected to it. I'm going to take it right off anyway. missing the cover on my awning up there and inside this channel is where my model number is at so I have to hook up the battery to run the motor on the awning and then I can get in here in the camper and uh, run that out enough to where I can get that Well, at least the battery worked. And I don't want to hit this camper next to me. Well, that was pretty close, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, sucking in just a little bit. There we go. And like I said, inside this channel is supposed to be the model number right there so I'll get a picture of that and uh, turn it in another thing that's pretty important when you go to set your camper in storage just make sure you turn the refrigerator off before you take the battery out i forgot to do that so when i put the battery on refrigerator popped right on and i opened the door and it's here to beep and uh, i forgot to turn off the refrigerator the other thing you want to do when you're storing your camper is be sure to open your refrigerator so that uh, you don't get any mildew growth inside that box during storage because you know when you turned it off let's get some light on the subject here when you turned it off there's a lot of moisture and stuff inside of that freezer and uh, it'll build up it'll cause mildew to grow inside of there and once it grows on that plastic it's hard to get it clean it's always going to leave a stain if you leave it on there too long if you get it right away you could probably clean it and get away with it but eventually if you don't it's going to eat into that plastic and it's going to stain it and it's not going to look good for very much longer so always be sure to open your refrigerator when you're in storage so that you don't get any buildup of mildew and molds and keeps that refrigerator nice and fresh sure gets dark in here don't it what if i let in some natural light sort of like this look 
This is what I'm dealing with now. Rain. Glad I opened my awning so that I could at least have some shelter from that. Oh, one of the things that we are not really thrilled about with this camper since we've got it in um, mid fall last year, every time I come in here, I'm always finding sawdust everywhere. And it could just be sitting here. And I'll open the door, come in, and there's sawdust on surfaces. It's like, you know, a shakedown trip when you first get your motorhome or your your travel trailer, one shakedown trip ain't gonna do it. I think it's called shakedown because it shakes down all that dust and dirt. But <laughs> it just seems to never go away. It's always in here. And we sweep and clean and vacuum and we just can't get rid of it. So I think it's probably, if you do about six or eight camping trips a year, Every one of those trips are going to be a shakedown trip. Thank you so much for watching. We do hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd hate for you to miss any upcoming videos. Until our next visit, be safe out there, and we'll see you soon.